If you're in the meetings and events industry, you're likely on the road again soon to another conference, trade show, to meet with clients, or even to just run one of your events. Travel can be tough on both the mind and the body, and since we're traveling so many weeks throughout the year, it's important that we're taking care of both our business and our well-being while we're on the road. So how do us road warriors do it? Well, here are my best tips for staying productive while traveling. Hey friends, it's Leanne and all of us in the meetings industry are on the road so often that it's really hard to find balance when we're never in one place for a really long time. And I recently updated my blog post on productivity tips while traveling and you can find a link to that post in the description for this video. And while I have 10 tips in that particular blog post, I've narrowed it down to five things that I think we really need to achieve each and every road trip. And I've even given it an acronym to help me remember to incorporate these things while I'm traveling. So my acronym when traveling on the road is R-E-S-E-T or RESET. So let's go through what this means. The R stands for rest. And for all of us, rest looks different. For some of us, it means keeping a strict sleep schedule, especially when we're bouncing around from time zone to time zone. Sometimes rest is just reading a book and getting caught up on some things that you normally wouldn't get to do when you're distracted at home or at the office. So make sure that you're incorporating some rest somewhere in when you're traveling so that when you do need to be on when you're traveling, you are on and you're being at your most productive. E stands for eat or eating well. And in our meetings and events industry, this one is so tough. We're at conferences and receptions where we're having wine literally with every function, carbs lining the buffet lines. It's really, really difficult to stick to our, our diet and our eating regimen when there's so many temptations at all hours of the day and night when we're traveling in our industry. So set some boundaries for yourself so that when you do get back from the trip, you feel, you feel like you haven't completely fallen off the rails with your diet. S stands for strategic projects. This is my favorite. We spend so much time in airports and on airplanes and in transit and staying in hotel rooms after a long day of meetings. This is the best time to get caught up on looking at your business plan for the year, even your quarterly plans, starting to forecast for the next quarter and really putting pen to paper on some things that you want to do. All that time on the airplane without distractions from the phone and from the internet and from email is really, really a good time. So take a look at the calendar that you've set out for your next trip and find some pockets of time when you can build in some strategic thinking. E is for exercise. And again, going along with eating and sleeping, it's important that you build in some exercise. It could be as simple as going to the hotel gym for 20 or 30 minutes. It could be as easy as going for a quick run around the block for 10 or 15 minutes, or even just a brisk walk to the coffee shop for 10 or 15 minutes to elevate your heart rate. That will give you more clarity throughout this busy day. So ensure that you're getting some exercise into your schedule. And finally, T is for thing. I did a video not too long ago about doing your thing when you're traveling. And I feel strongly that if you find something, an activity of sorts that really defines who you are and grounds you, it makes this business trip more of a leisure trip where you're combining leisure and business together and you're getting back to doing the things that you love to do. When I travel, I try and build in a little bit of time to go for a run. Uh, but the other thing I like to do is go for afternoon tea. And my upcoming trip, I'm actually doing that with a friend of mine. And it, now it's giving me something to look forward to. I know that experience is going to set me up for success for the week because I'm going to enjoy it. And it's something I really like doing. Now, if you're not sure what your thing is, just look at the things that you love to do when you're at home. It could be visiting breweries or wineries 
could be going to the library and finding a good book to read. Whatever your thing is, try and find a way to incorporate that, incorporate that into your next business travel trip. So that's my simple way of remembering some of the best ways to keep balance in my business trip. And there certainly are some more tips that I incorporated in that blog post I mentioned earlier. But now I want to hear from you. I want to know what your tips are for staying productive while traveling. Because I can always use some more tips when I'm on the road. I hope this vlog and accompanying blog posts have given you some tips to use the next time you're on your next business trip. And if you are at an industry event and I'm there, please come by and say hi. And if you haven't started following my YouTube channel, now is the time to do it. Just click subscribe on my YouTube channel and you'll be notified anytime new content hits the channel. I hope to see you soon, everyone. Have a great week. Bye.